Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> we are currently trying to catch some skipjack. I was out here the other day and I did pretty well on skipjack. And this is, well, in the fall, and then of course the winter, this is always a really good spot to catch skipjack because there's a, we've seen it before. If you watch any of my videos from last year, <clears throat> there's a sandbar that comes out right here and they like running that bait up on them sandbars. But see, like the, I just gotta wait for that school to come up, start, you know, chasing bait. We need to, oh, that was, there we go. That's a skipper. Oh, and he come off, see, that's, that's the problem I'm running into. <clears throat> that was a skipper. Need about eight of those today and we'll be all right, but we got this, this current's going backwards. That's the hard part. Because when we're catching these skipjacks, they're, they're, they're pretty finicky right now, especially out here on the main river. And what, what'll happen is if you got it, like I got all my depth finders turned off and I don't want to use a trolling motor board and I have to, because all that noise, all that stuff right there kind of spooks them. <clears throat> but I'm right here at the perfect time because as that sun comes up, which I know it's in the camera now, but <clears throat> as it comes up, these fish, they, they start to feed a little bit better right through here. But it's, it's a school is what it is that'll come, come through here and feed on these little fish that are up on this uh, shallow sandbar. <clears throat> and you just gotta be here when they come up because you can catch four or five at a time. Well, you'll sit here, you know, like, cause dams for me, they're, you know, anywhere, any direction I go, they're up to hour and a half to two hours away for me to catch these skipjack. So that's why I always try to find them here on the main river, which I have, and I will, just waiting for that right time of year when they're thick in here. But see, right now you can make a hundred casts and it all comes, there's a the fish, and it all comes down to two casts. And like I said, I'll have, you know, eight to 10 fish. So <clears throat> either way, it's the best way that I know of to get fresh bait. And like I've said before, I mean, fresh bait is, it's king. I mean, if you can get it, you know, without being frozen, even bait that's been in a, you know, a cooler for a day still ain't bad. Well, you, especially with these skipjack, you start getting two or three days. I don't know. <clears throat> like I said, I waste a waste a good amount of time in the mornings trying to catch bait, depending on how quick it is. Which I could run up and catch a probably catch a bunch of white bass real quick, but I want to try a skipjack. The last fishing trip I did, they were <clears throat> these fish were keying on uh, skipjack, so. Maybe that's, they're starting to do that, that transition to where they're moving to skipjack and shad, you know. Of course it is fall, but we don't have, a, we don't have the water temps that prove it's fall. There we go. That's a skipper. That's a skipper. Stay on there, stay on there, stay on there. Oh, I got two of them. Heck yeah. Hot monsters, they'll work. Yeah, I got one skipper out of that. <clears throat> See, about time I talk about leaving. There's a 
Uh, I might get some. Not to get good skipjack. God dang it, stay on there. Get in there. Yeah. Yeah. I knew that big. That school of bigger, bigger ones would show up. All right, y'all. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna do something a little bit different these next couple videos. Okay, so if you follow me on Facebook, you'll you would have seen the post that I had about another good fish that I lost, and and, and that's kind of becoming a a pattern as of late. Uh, I've lost I, I would say a, a, a pretty good handful of, of bigger fish. And you know, and there's a whole lot of factors that go into that. There's a, uh, you know, the hook, the, you know, the axe to my rod, the fact that I use mono, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons, but when it all comes down to it, when I'm able to put pressure on that fish, and, and I mean a lot of pressure on that fish, and then I still, he still comes unpinned. I, that part of it, it doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, so the next couple of videos, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna be trying out different hooks. Now I'm gonna keep myself in some, you know, places that I fished before that I know for a fact that I'll catch fish. And of course, you know, the, also the next couple of trips, I'm going after nothing but bigs because I wanna I wanna catch a big fish. But anyway, so what, the hook we're gonna start off with today is this is a one that Mad Cat sells, and I I, I don't know where they get it from. It, there's a number of places, you know, that are selling pretty much the same hook, but I get them from Mad Cat. So anyway. This is that, I, I don't know what they're calling it now, but as you see, it's still a circle hook, but it's got the short shank on it, and that's supposed to, I guess, help with hookups. I'm not 100% sure what that's about as opposed to the long one. Now, it is a lot thicker hook, and as you can see, I've got this one offset. They don't come offset. I, I have to actually bend them like that, and I'll go tell you something about that, too. Uh, I, had a, I got a pack. I think it was like a pack of 20. You know, and, and them guys, they hand inspect these things before they package them up, but what they don't do is they don't try to offset them. So anyway, out of that whole pack, I had these, the rest of them, I had to take two pair of pliers and then force them to bend. But I had two hooks that I could grab them and then I could just barely turn them with my hands. Uh, I don't know if they just, the heat treat on them wasn't right. I don't know what the deal was with those hooks, but they ended up in the garbage. So anyway, like I said, the next couple of trips, I'm gonna be trying some different hooks. Uh, I've got, uh, like I said, we're trying this one today. I've got some sort of a hybrid hook I'm gonna try next. Uh, and then I'm gonna, I got some 10 uh circle hooks that are like the Gamagatsu style, which ultimately that's probably what I'm gonna end up going to is a 10 knot because I've been running nine knots for a long time. And that could be a lot of the reasons why I'm losing these fish, but there really ain't but one way to find out. So I'm just gonna run through them, but there is one, one hook that I'm excited to, to get. It's actually in the mail right now, so I should get it this week. Uh, it's, it's a completely, I ain't gonna say it's a completely different hook, but it's not a, it's not a mainstream hook, kind of like this one, if you know what I mean. So <clears throat> we're gonna give that a shot. We're gonna try these out today. I'll probably try these out the next couple days, because I wanna give them a fair shake. And then just see, uh, I don't like a, you know, I don't like a hook that's not offset. So that's why I, I tried, I, I bent these offset. But I still will try these in the regular way, you know, when, with not being offset without bending them. So we're gonna give them a shot. I got bait today, uh, starting to catch skipjack. So that's good, that's good. I caught me at least a dozen of them this morning to fish with. Got me two white bass. Of course, uh, I'm gonna start using those and weaning them off. But, but yeah, we're gonna sit out here. We're gonna drag this. Now what we're gonna drag, it's a, stretch we've drug before uh it's got some deep holes in it but in between the deep holes it comes up to like like where i'm talking when it goes a deep hole we're in 54 58 foot of water but it'll come all the way back up to like 30 38 foot well i think i seen the shallows i seen was 34 foot on the, the hole we're getting ready to come into but uh <clears throat> so we're gonna just keep doing that this goes for a pretty long ways and i know we'll catch fish down this stretch and because i've caught a lot of good fish and i see a lot of fish now we did have a lot of rain come in, <clears throat> which that helped because now the, the water temp is 75 degrees, and uh, but it did dingy up the water. So that's what kind of made it a little tough uh, chasing them skipjack this morning. But like I said, we did, we did catch us a dozen of them, so we're good. I need to get this boat because we ain't got no current yet. We're supposed to pick some up later on, but we have zero yet. 
So let's get baited up and get out there. My God, I got that fish. Not a, not a big one, but I got him. <laughs> yeah, he's not a big one, but I got. Him. Got to do the old slow takeoff with it. Just curious to see where that where that hook got him. You know, it's it's the biggest thing. I right. put myself in these high percentage areas where we're at. Just curious. Looks like the hook got him. Wow! Looks like the hook got him right in the bottom lip. Now that's even better. Yeah, that's even better there. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, chill out, chill out. Uh, there we go. All right, well, it looks like that. That's why I said I've always, I always like an offset hook. Because <clears throat> you just, you know, whether it be the top or bottom, let me get my grippers here because I'm going to leave him in. Okay, so you can see how it got him right to the bottom lip. Just past the tooth patch there. I mean, it penetrated good too. Alright. <clears throat> I can deal with that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for being part of the research. I got, I got him that time. I got him that time. He is not. <laughs> he is not a big one. But I got. Now we'll see where this hook set was. Perfect. Again in that bottom jaw, but then again, it could just be because it's, you know, <clears throat> smaller fish. But regardless, <clears throat> see again, it's Right to that bottom jaw. And it got him good too. Let's see if I can get my head back. I did. Cool. Appreciate it, little buddy. Where's the big girls at though? That's what I want. <clears throat> got my head back. Any I don't understand. See, that's the stuff that I'm trying to avoid, but I don't understand how to do it. 
I mean, there's, it'd be different if that was always happened on the planer board or something like that, but this is directly in line of the fish. That's the part I don't understand. That's the part I don't understand. I'm sure I still get my bait on there. I'm pretty sure I do, but. That's the part that I'm trying to avoid. I don't know how to do it. Let me get this fish. Making sure he's hooked. All right, so. Pulled two good times on him, so he should be good. <laughs> Which is weird, because you would think that these outside boards, because there's so much slack, there's so much that could, you know, would cause the fish to not get it. Where this one, which is in line, there's nothing outside of the rod and the fish. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there smarter than me that can probably tell me what I'm doing wrong, but. And again, I've caught a lot of fish. It's just I'm trying to avoid losing the fish, I guess. <clears throat> So we'll see how oh, he's hooked. Oh, you done got yourself all twisted up in Have a little, have a little pot belly. I mean, they're, they're feeding up. Of course, they've had, here, let me get this out there. They've had all week to do it. On that bright moon we've had. Let me get that one back down there just in case. All right, let's look at you, buddy. Now see, he was hooked really good, right? But you see how deep he's, they're going. I don't know, that's pretty, pretty impressive. I mean, I guess either way, it's still a, it's still a circle hook. I'm trying to get it out of you, buddy. Yeah, that's even better when they tough to get out. So that had him right through the top of the head. Now, granted, it's a little fish, so can't base a whole lot off of it, but. Suspended rod. That 
I'm gonna hit the spin the rod. It's a slightly better fish. Maybe not though. He dang sure wanted it, that's a fact. And we'll see where he's hooked. <laughs> Cause I was wondering about the suspended one too. He's hooked right in the corner of the mouth, right where it needs to be. Right where he needs to be. Not a better fish, but. Heck yeah. That old hook got him good, boy. All right, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, that's, that's right there in the, right there in the side where that gill plate meets up a little bit further back. So, might be, might be something to these little short shank hooks, you know? Might be something to them. Cause he was hooked like deep. He was hooked deep down in there. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you, buddy. Well, let go, let go. Where are the biggins at? Oh God, dog. Now that's a fish. Suspended rod, man, he buried that thing. He buried it. He freaking buried it. Now, he, he don't seem like a big one. <laughs> but he, all the way up to this eye. He had it all the way up to this eye right here. God, dog. Oh, yeah, he's biggest fish of the day. He's going to need to be the net. Needs to be put in the net. So they get to rolling like that. That's why them hooks keep coming undone. Right there in the corner of the mouth, though. <laughs> right there in the corner of the mouth. I'll tell you what, y'all. I'm kind of liking these little short shanked hooks. I really am. I'm kind of liking these little short shanked hooks. He's no, he's not a pig, but he's definitely the best one of the day. He's a big old male is what he is. All right. I mean, buried him deep. Yeah, if he wasn't already missing that eye, he'd be missing it now. But I mean, buried him deep. God, dog. All right. So I'm telling you, I'm liking them short shanked hooks. But I do believe me offsetting them like that is probably helping out quite a bit too. I mean, had him, had him deep in there, boy. Yeah, so he, already, he lost that eye a long time ago. Let me, let me tend to the fish. <laughs> Heck yeah, buddy. Heck yeah. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. All right, straighten out, straighten out, buddy, straighten out. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. He's a good one. All right, got the picture. All right, come on, buddy. He's right about, I'd say he's 20, 25 pounds. Not a huge fish. Best one of the day, though. Thank you, buddy. Heck yeah. I mean, buried. <laughs> he, 
he buried that suspended rod. All right. All right, well, I'm gonna close this one out. Uh, kind of hit on something. These fish are starting to get active again, which is great. Uh, today, uh, water temp got up to 78 degrees, uh, but we started off at like 76. So that's awesome. <clears throat> I'm glad to see that water temp finally coming back down. We got a uh, end of this week. We've got some pretty cool weather, which I think everybody's gonna get some pretty cool weather end of this week. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a, a two part video on these hooks for sure. Uh, Cause we did some dragging today. Uh, I got a, a, a lot of bites on suspending. So I think what I'm gonna do tomorrow, uh, cause I am gonna come back out here tomorrow is I'm gonna take a couple suspended rods and I may even do some bumping because the current we got is, is it's all right. But, uh, but I'll show you what I mean by, well, it's, it, it is bumping, but it's gonna be, we're gonna be doing it in reverse. So we're gonna be kind of just basically, you know, taking everything to the fish uh, instead of going against the current. So it's a little unorthodox. Most of the time you think of that, you know, high current, stuff like that. But I've done it a lot out here with just a little bit of current that we have, I just haven't done it in a while. So I'm trying to get back to the, get back to the days of how I used to catch fish a lot. But like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna make this a two part video. So I'm gonna, so again, tomorrow I'm gonna use all the exact same hooks that I use today. I was kind of impressed with them really. Uh, pretty much every one of them that I hooked into, they were, they were all deep, you know, not, not like gut deep, but you know, they were behind the tooth patch. The, you know, they penetrated well, you know, for a, a big thick hook like that, that was kind of one of the things that I was worried about. But it seems like it's gonna work out pretty good. <clears throat> uh, but we'll do it again tomorrow. I'll try to, uh, like I said, we'll try to bump up a few fish. We'll suspend for sure, cause I had a lot of bites suspended. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do. So as always, I appreciate you watching this one and I hope you definitely catch the next one because it's gonna be, like I said, part two of this video. So we'll see you then.